Hello, Facebook friends. It is Carla, your online doctor, with today's Live in Five. Today is August 28th. It is 5.03 p.m. And we're talking about dangers lurking in your foods of different types. We've talked bread. We've talked spices. We even talked olive oil yesterday. And today we're talking orange juice. And this one bummed me out because I really love orange juice. Now, don't be fooled by the labels that say 100% pure orange juice. Hello, Rhonda. Thanks to the highly complex and loophole-filled labeling laws in the United States, juice manufacturers get away with adding quote-unquote flavor packs to their juice. Since they are derived from orange oil, essences, and byproducts of oranges, even though they are chemically processed into a state that can't reasonably be called natural, these flavor packs are not required to be listed as ingredients on the label. Okay, which makes me think, and of course it supports this, if you've ever juiced an orange or a lot of oranges, it depends on the season or what batch of oranges you get, how it's going to taste. Hey, Tracy. So if you think about it and you buy a brand of orange juice and it always tastes exactly the same, it's always really sweet and really good, but how can it taste the same? It's seasonal. These fruits are not going to have the same flavor batch to batch. So it supported that information in my mind and I was very upset. But anyone who's ever juiced oranges home knows that two oranges never taste the same. So, and brands may actually taste different. If you've ever had one brand versus the other, they're not going to taste the same. So after squeezing the juice from the oranges, it is stored, this is manufactured wide, it is stored in large holding tanks where the oxygen is actually removed. Hello, Joyce. Who else did I miss? Hello, Shannon. Hi, Roy. Thank you guys for watching. So the the juice is stored in a holding tank where the oxygen is removed to extend the shelf life of the juice okay if there's no oxygen it can't oxidize so it can't be it can't it doesn't spoil as quickly i don't think i've ever had orange juice that's gone bad i mean you'd really have to leave it for a really long time which would not be the same if you had freshly squeezed juice now the flavor pack is added and they are actually provided by the fragrance and flavoring companies, often the same companies that manufacture perfumes. So this is completely synthetic. Hello, Pamela. So the flavor packs added in the United States often contain what's called ethyl butyrate, which is one of the cheapest chemicals around. It is colorless with a pineapple-like Odor, it is used in flavorings as a solvent in perfumes and as a plasticizer for cellulose. Now, studies on different brands sampled found fresh squeezed juices contain about 1.2 milligrams of ethyl butyrate per liter, whereas commercially processed contains levels as high as 8.5 milligrams per liter. Now, it doesn't end there. Okay, because if that's not bad enough, we know, and this is not any surprise, added sugar. Okay, when drinking juice, it is very easy to get an overload of sugar, as opposed to when you eat an entire orange. The pulp of the fruit actually aids in digestion and prevents some of the fructose from the plant, from the orange itself, from getting absorbed. So you don't take in all that sugar, and it actually, you kind of get it in slower increments, almost like a time release. So an eight ounce glass of orange juice can, contains anywhere from 22 to 25 grams of sugar, unless you buy the Tropicana 50, which of course makes absolutely no sense because it's just half water. So the reason why it has half as much sugar is because it has half as much juice. So don't be fooled by that stupid advertising. Anyway, so 22 to 25 grams of sugar for an eight ounce glass, which is double the amount of an average orange. So eating the orange will actually satisfy your hunger and thirst much better as well. Hello, Paul. Thank you for watching. Yes, Shannon, isn't that disgusting? I know it's gross. 
So I know this is tough for us Floridians especially, but fortunately you can still make your own juice or even buy freshly squeezed at stores like Whole Foods. You can go there, it's gonna cost you a lot more than what you would be getting in containers from Sunkist or Tropicana or wherever else. To be perfectly honest, the trick is you have to look at the expiration date. If it's more than five days, it's not freshly squeezed without added stuff, okay? So even brands like Natalie's and whatever, which I kind of like, I looked at it just the other day after I prepared this live and their expiration date was the end of September. So there ain't no way that's pure orange juice freshly squeezed without anything else added. So squeeze your own, go to Whole Foods, have them do it fresh for you right there. Buy it in smaller amounts so that you don't have to worry about it going bad. Um, or just eat oranges. That's what I got. And I tell you, this really hit home because I am an orange juice lover. So I am going to change my ways and Whole Foods is going <laughs> to make out good on me because I'll be buying a lot of their freshly squeezed orange juice from here on out. So on that note, sorry to pop your bubble if that's your favorite drink, but better to know than not to know. You guys have an awesome day. I will be back tomorrow with another Live in 5.